Hey, good evening, Frank. Hello, Frank. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How's it going? Uh, okay, teacher. I'm hey. very tired. Well, it's the two of us. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long, it's a long day. Yeah. Sorry, come again. Is this, is this our last class? Yes. Tonight, yes, is our last class. It's very fast. Yeah, it went, but, uh, went by. Yeah. Um, but in my case, uh, it's a good result. De hecho, pensaba retirarme el, el, el ciclo pasado, anterior a, a ese, el pre intermedio 3, porque no entendía nada. Pero sí me ha ayudado bastante, de verdad, como no tiene idea. <risa> really? Pero no fue yo, it was you. Studying, es you. I'm not doing anything, you know. It's just you studying. That's the difference. Yeah. Don't worry. I don't know. Maybe the um, teacher is talking uh, for you. Is your? I'm sorry. Um, I think about uh, the teacher is very important important and um, stop in Sunday Park. You mean it's um, very important for the teacher to stop the class and hey, let's correct yeah. this, correct this. Yes, that's true. That's true, Frank. It's very important for for you to be point out at your mistakes or areas of opportunity, right? Always telling you areas of opportunity. Oh my God, Erika, she promised she was going to be with her camera on in the last class and uh, there she is. Good evening, Erika. Really? Good evening, teacher. How's it going, Erika? I'm fine. Great, I'm happy to see you. Great smile. Welcome. Richard, all good? Hey. You go. All good. Good evening. good evening. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Today I'm good. What I'm happened? Great. What happened to you yesterday? Yesterday I was sick. I I had a headache. Oh yeah, very, you tell me. Very strong. Very headache. Strong. Headache. Ah, okay. Today I uh, I'm better. How did you kill it? How did <laughs> How did you kill it? I took a rest. You took a rest. Took a you took a, you took a break. A rest. A rest. Uh, oh, I rested. I rested, or I. What did I say? I took a break. I took a break, or I rested. I rested. You know, I don't suffer of headaches. Never. Once a year, <laughs> once a year, just once a year, and it's not a headache, it's a migraine, it's a huge migraine. So, when it starts, it starts with my stomach, you know, really aching. I have a, a big stomach ache, then I start burping, like you know, and then and then it starts a little headache in the morning in the afternoon and then at night it increases and the only way i can kill it richard the only way i can kill a, a, a migraine uh, attack is by going to the bathtub you know the bathtub and put ice on the water and get into the water really cold yeah. really cold water that's the only way it's terrible Maybe it's, it's what's happened uh, uh, the problem is it's the problem is in my stomach. 
it, right. It comes from your stomach. It's really weird. Okay. I'm better. I'm better. Um, we're glad to have you here. Thank you. Juan, everybody with the camera on this class, come on. <laughs> no. There you go. Thank you, Juan. Welcome. There you go. Okay, yeah. Marlon, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Juan, what a fancy look you, man, with that. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay, Mercedes, a menche. You look, you look. Do you drive a menche? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, I work in, in the come see, company. At the retail store? Yes. You work at the retail store of Mercedes? Oh, it's a and, paint, paint shop or, of course, or what's the name? Yes. Uh, retail store? Um, no, paint shop. Uh, a place rent rent paint, place for shop. paint cars a uh -huh. paint shop paint shop mm -hmm. thank you paint shop wow that's amazing what do, you mean, paint shop? do you know how to paint cars you do yeah, the painting yeah, job yes by, wow. by decorate the, the car one decorate the car i guess do you, yeah he paints oh, okay he does car oh. painting you do car painting wow my respects. That's I that's give a, you a, no, that's I an give art. You a, my God. Yeah, Richard wants his car painted. A client, one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome, guys. This is our last class tonight. Oh, where were we? Where were we yesterday? Can somebody tell me where were we yesterday? We were practicing about pronunciation. the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. What? What? Pronunciation. What? Pronunciation. <laughs> Come again. Pron pronunciation. Close. Who said that? Juan, very good. Pronunciation. 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 Erika. Pronunciation. Okay. Marlon, tell her. Pronunciation. Erika. Pronunciation. Mm, wait, listen. Marlo, uh, Giovanni, Giovanni. Pronunciation. Uh -uh. Do it again, Juan. Pronun pronunciation. Erika. Pronunciation. Better. Thank you. Pronun pronunciation. Remember, it's like saying nan se. Pronunciation. Okay. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Very good. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. And the example that I was giving you is important. Important. No sale de tu boca el sonido final. Important. That's important. Repeat. Important. 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 There you go. Good, Erika. Important. Good. Hey, Carlos. No cameras, no no cameras off tonight. I'm sorry. You have to turn on your camera tonight. It's the last class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the bathroom. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see Carlos like sleeping, right? Okay, guys, let's go. Okay, so yeah, yesterday we talked about pronunciation, but we also saw personality traits, remember? Trait. Mm, yes. What, what do you remember about that? Moody. Generous. Mm -hmm. Street three. Remember, there were four stories and you had to determine based on each story the adjective that best described the character, right? So the first one, I think it was serious. Serious. Remember serious? The boss, uh, the the boss serious. was serious. Yeah. Generous. A co-worker was generous. Very good, because the she gave a book, I think. A okay. teacher is uh, moody. A teacher was moody. Okay. Moody. Moody. And a relative was? Bad temperature. Temperature. Well. <laughs> temporary, temporary, temporary. Uh, 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 can somebody pronounce what? that word properly? Temporary. Mm, close. Temporary. Very close. Temporary. No. Temporary. 
Somebody Tempered. Try it, guys. Try it. Tempered. Good, Juan. Tempered. Tempered. Uh -huh. Tempered. Tempered. Good, Juan. Listen to Juan. Tempered. Tempered. Uh -huh. Okay. Excellent, Juan. I'm going to start calling you John now. You deserve to be called John. Okay. <laughs> so we have Richard, John, Charlie. Okay. Good. Erika is yes. already gringo, okay? Erika is already gringo, so let's move on. <laughs> okay, guys, tonight we're just covering this topic and then we will be covering the final exam. I know that most of you have already finished the platform, so that's good. Um, closes with because. Hmm. Okay, let's watch the video and then we will practice together as we always do. Pay attention. Hi, are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because is a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist, or I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget, the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor or an actress? Please share your responses on our discussion box. Introduce a call. Okay. I think this is a very easy um, topic. What do you think? Is this puzzling? Is it puzzle? Is this a puzzle for you? Is it puzzling? Is it puzzling? What's puzzling? Like from the cabeza. Oh. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and gaze. I've been around for many years. No? Sympathy for the devil? Rolling Stones? What puzzles you? Is it puzzling? Is esto confuso? Okay, and this is just a fragment of the song, Sympathy for the Devil, the Rolling Stones. Come on, guys. Okay, is this difficult for you? Do you think this is confusing? Confusive? Very confusing. Oops. Okay, esto es confuso porque se está ocupando. Hold on. Se está ocupando um, modales para hablar de la probabilidad de ser algo. ¿Sí o no? Mm -hmm. I'll make a good journalist. El tema básicamente es dar la razón, el porqué de algo. Because I'm good at writing. Because I'm very creative. Because I'm very 
I'm patient, I'm patient, because I can't make decisions quickly. Decir, dar el por qué, yo podría, o no querría, o podría ser, o podría hacer la de. Oí, podría hacerla, o más bien, perdón, la haría de un buen uh, reportero. Okay, I will make, eso es, esa es esta contracción, ¿se acuerdan? I would. I would. I would. Okay. Yeah. I will make a good journalist. Y ustedes estaban ahí rompiéndose la cabeza. You, will, you were puzzling. What puzzles your mind? What puzzles you right now is this sentence. I will make a good journalist. ¿Cómo lo traducirías? Textualmente estarías traduciendo, yo haría un buen reportero. Right? Okay. Eso es textualmente. Ahora, figurativamente, yo la haría de buen reportero. La haría de buen reportero. ¿Por qué? Y ese es el punto de esta clase. El por qué. Because I'm good at writing. Ok. Um, so let me start by making questions. Um, would you be a good carpenter, Richard? Would you be a good carpenter? Maybe, maybe, because I I I like the the or, uh, how do you say trabajos manuales? I like handcrafting, hand uh, because crafting. I, I like uh, handcrafting. Handcrafting, okay. See, that's an example. Let's go. Um, Marlon, would you or could you be a good mechanic? Maybe because I always have that uh, have, have that interest. Hey. Mm -hmm. Erika, mm, could you make, would you make a good dentist? I don't know, because I not, um, I not, what do you say? Uh, I don't say the <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about it. Maybe not because I don't know about it. Okay? Maybe not because I don't know about it. I don't know about it. Okay. <clears throat> That's the way you will say it. Quizá no porque no sé de eso, right? Maybe not because I don't know about it. Very good. Juan. Could you ever be a could you ever be a doctor? Could you ever could you ever be a doctor? If we can listen. We can listen to you. Turn on your microphone. Sorry. Could ever. In this case, what is the meaning ever? Nunca. Tan simple como podrías ser. Could you ever? Uh, ¿Podría ser un buen doctor? Uh, oh, perdón, ¿podría ser un doctor? Maybe. Maybe? My, Why? Uh, ¿Cómo se dice esos que hacen? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Hmm? <laughs> okay, let's pretend. Let's pretend. Maybe because I because need... I like the plastic surgery. Plastic surgery. Yes. Surgery. Surgery. Yes. Okay, how do you pronounce this word, guys? Surgery. 
Surgery. Close, very Teach. good. You say? Surgery. Okay. Breathe. Surgery. 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 Sí, dos palabras sí. homófonas que unidas suenan a surgery. Sir, jury. Surgery. Señor, jurado. Surgery. Señor jurado. <laughs> okay, surgery. Surgery. Good. Uh, maybe because I like to watch Dr. House. <laughs> okay. Dr. <laughs> Phil. What? Dr. Dr. Phil? Phil? Oh, come on, Dr. <laughs> Phil is not a doctor. <laughs> maybe, Hauser. Uh huh. Maybe because I watched I watched Doggy Hauser because I watched, I, I watched uh, Grey's Anatomy. <clears throat> maybe I don't know. Okay, suppositions. Very good. You got the point, right? Yes. Yeah. The, the mostly yes. is the point is to give a reason. Okay. Could you play the guitar? Kike, could you play the guitar? Uh, yes. I could play the I, guitar. I, I could play the guitar. I like okay. play guitar. Wait. Oh, okay. Because I like. Uh -huh. Because I like to uh, uh, to play to play guitar. The guitar. It's I like to infinity. play the guitar. Very good, yes. Uh, sí, dos verbos no pueden estar juntos en el mismo tiempo gramatical. Mm -hmm. Son separas mm -hmm. con el tú. Se dijo un infinitivo okay. siempre. Good job. Mm -hmm. Ok. Teacher. Yes. Eh, the stress... The stress sound... Of the word guitar or... Guitar. You say guitar. Oh, not gu not guitar. Gu guitar. Gu I, I hear guitar. British. I hear guitar. Mm -hmm. British. Mm -hmm. British. Oh, okay. Guitar. Okay. Mm -hmm. The guitar. The guitar. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just landing the point here because it's a conjunction. Don't forget, it's a conjunction, a connector. You can connect two independent clauses in one sentence with because, because you're giving a reason, okay? That's why you can connect two independent clauses with because. Also, uh, we need to point out that clauses starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. In other words, you can switch things around, okay? Because I like to play the guitar, I could be a guitarist. I could be a good guitarist because I'm good at writing. I would make a good journalist, okay? Or I, I'd make a good journalist because I'm a good, I'm good at writing. Got it? Good. Good. So, what is journalist? Did I said I said reporter or before, right? No, journalist is um, well, it's some sort of reporter. It's columnista. So, columnista. Thank you. That's the word, columnista. Okay. Now there were some examples given by Jessica. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I'd be a good teacher because I'm in, I'm patient. Okay. And finally, why? Could you be, or tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president? Giovanni, could you be a good president? Um, I think I will be a good president because the, um, like the money. I'm honest. <laughs> I like money. <laughs> like the money. <laughs> you don't like it. You love it. We too. We too. We love oh. money. Come on. Okay. Good. Um, Juan, will you be a good president? I want to hear this. Uh, I don't know, teacher. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> Why? Because Why do you don't I... know? Gone is very on honest. Honest. <laughs> honest. Because I I can with my family. Ah, <laughs> oh, I can do it with my family. <laughs> but your wife will be the first women, I guess. Okay. <laughs> or if your wife is <laughs> forget it, I was about to say a joke. He doesn't like money. <laughs> Or really? Simple, simple okay. Lady. Kike, would you be an actor? Could you be an actor? Uh, maybe. Maybe I. I could be a good actor because mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Because I like mimicking, I like mimicking uh, people. Okay. I like Because to mimic. I like, I like to mimic. Mm -hmm. Others. Others. Yeah, very simple. Okay. Good guys. So, do you have any questions with this topic? Yep. Oh. Not, not right now. Okay. So, simplemente recuerden lo que siempre les he dicho. Es tan fácil como reemplazar partes de una estructura, ¿no? Entender eso y reemplazar las partes de una estructura. Okay. Good, guys. Uh, vamos a empezar. Oh, let's go. Why am I speaking in Spanish? I'm sorry. Let's go with your final test. You have any questions on your final exam? I do have a question. Ahorita los tengo a todos así en la, en la pantalla. Levántenme la mano quienes no han completado la plataforma. Raise your hand. Quienes no, mm. la, no tengan pena. Kike, no se... <laughs> hey, hey, Stephanie, Kike, Mercy, esta noche estamos con las cámaras encendidas. I'm so sorry. No me sirve la I'm cámara. I'm sorry, teacher. No me sirve la cámara. No sabía, acabo de entrar. <laughs> okay, Frank, turn on your camera. Mercy, turn on your camera. Mercy is sleeping. <laughs> Kike is sleeping. Mira, y nos dice Kike, si mi cámara siempre está encendida. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, Kike. Okay. Good, guys. So, let's talk about your exam. Sean honestos. Quiero saber quién no ha terminado la plataforma. Raise your hand. ¿En serio? ¿Todos terminaron ya? Ok, entonces preguntemos. Todos, levántame el dedo quienes ya terminaron la plataforma. Giovanni. Sí, yo lo... Good. I, Good. I just finished. I finished just finished it. it. Ok, Mercy saying. Ok, Good. Good. Great. Ok. Thanks, God. Thank, thank God. Oh, 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 thank wait. God. En el 2012. Trabajaba en un call center y conocía a alguien nativo. Siempre conocía a mucha gente deportada, de hecho. Y me corrigió esto. Y todos estuvieron de acuerdo, los que venían deportados, de que no se dice thanks God. Se dice... God, thanks. Uh -uh, thank God. ¿Oí? Thank God. Thank God. O sea, no se pronuncia la S. Si sí, no pronuncias creo. la S. God. Ok. Tal cual, thank God. Mira la estructura ahí, la escritura ahí en el chat. Thank mm -hmm. God. Repetí, thank, thank God. Thank God. Oh, thank, thank God. God. Thank God. Thank God. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you, teacher. Okay. Ya, yeah. eso es muy, muy eh, nativo, muy natural. ¿eh? Mm -hmm. Si un gringo te escucha mm -hmm. decir thank God en lugar de thanks God, te dice, mm -hmm. oh my God, do you speak English? <laughs> <laughs> okay guys very let's, pro very very pro oh my god you're so pro okay let's cover these parts of the final exam this, this is it okay so final exam starts with the a part choose the words okay if you walk to work you'll have to pay for the bus You won't have to pay for the bus. You may have to pay for the bus. This is logic. What do you think? 
Won't have to. Won't have to. Won't have to because it's okay. Now my question is, what because, grammar? Because it's you, it. Because I walk to work. Yeah, I walk to work. I mean, why will I pay for a bus? Good. Mm -hmm. What are we covering here? Hmm? Is you? This is just general knowledge. The next one, the number two. What is the grammar tense? What is the grammar tense? This was future. Okay, second one is simple present. So if you take a vacation, if you travel a vacation, if you don't go a vacation. If you take, if you take a vacation, if you take a vacation, you may feel better and more relaxed. Uh -huh. Oh, so this has to do with the video, remember? Uh -huh. Remember the girl? Uh -huh. Right, the beach. Uh -huh. The beach. That was if the video, get, okay. If you get married. If you get married, if you get married, you? Will have less free time. You won't be. You won't be. You, listen, you won't be less free time. You might take less free time. You will have less free time if you get married. You will have. <laughs> yeah, Giovanni knows. I know. <laughs> yeah, you will have less free time. It's true. Okay. True. Uh, yeah. Fiona and Shrek carefully <laughs> plans. Oh my God, sorry. Fiona carefully plans her day so she's never late for appointments. She likes to be punctual. 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 Repeat. Punctual. Punctual. Twelve. 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 Punctual. Punctual. Perdón, pero cuando hablo de pronunciación y exagero mi boca, me recuerdo de aquel gato. Yo intentando pronunciar en la clase de inglés. <laughs> El meme. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Okay, Gary tries to help people and never says no. When someone asks him for a favor, he seems like a really generous. Generous? Generous. Impatient, not disorganized. No. Yeah, he never says no. It's like, si, senor, right? Jim Carrey. Okay. Amy and Sam get angry easily, 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 and almost never smile. Everyone bad thinks they're bad moody. Bad and bad tempered. Bad tempered. 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 Okay. Olvídense de la última E. Tempered. Tempered. Got it. Bad, bad tempered. Perfect. Tempered. Okay. Let's go with B. I mean, this was just the listening. This was very simple. You have any questions with the listening? Uh, let me see. What's happening to the reason? Oh. No. She's happy with her blood. No question. Someone's talking. Okay. No questions with the listening. Okay. Let's go with no. the writing part. What was it about listening? Uh, has some older letters from her mother is going to, is happy with, she will. I think it was about the future. In this, in this uh, module, we have reviewed many grammar sentences, grammar tenses, okay? Okay. I'm not very good at typing. Oh, what is this? You remember? Gerunds, short answers on gerunds. Okay. Short responses. Gerund, short responses. Yes, I'm not very good at typing. Oh, am I? Oh, I am. Oh, I am. Yeah, because the auxiliary is the verb to be. Don't forget it. Okay, I'm not very good at typing. Oh, I am. 
Okay. What about, oh, no, well, I do. Well, I do. No, right. Okay. I like working with computers. So do I. So do I. Excellent. So do I is a verb, an action. So do I. So, so do, do I. I. Yo también. I don't mind driving to work every day. Neither do I. Neither do I. Perfect. Very good. I don't mind driving to work every day. Neither do I. A mí tampoco me importa. Very good. Now, I know this topic was a little bit difficult, right? But just keep in mind, if you have a positive, a positive sentence and you want to agree with it, you can use the verb to be, the auxiliary, and say, I am, okay? Or you can say, so do I, if it is an action, if you're using a verb, I like, so do I. What if I tell you I can drive? I can drive. So do I. So do I. Mm -hmm. I can drive. So can I. Uh, so, so can, can I. I. Can Very I. good. Yeah. yeah. I think I could. I could eat a horse. I think I'm I'm starving. I think I could eat a horse. E, I don't. No. <laughs> you could say, you know what? You could say uh, you could say I, I don't uh, not me. You could say not me. Not me. It's okay. But listen to the sentence. I'm starving. You know what's starving? Muriendo. Yeah, muriendo I'm starving. I think I could eat a horse. I could eat what a horse. 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 Why? <laughs> I could eat a horse. Es, es un, una frase. In, uh -huh. Incluso en español, me podría comer un caballo right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm hungry. Oh, uh, well, I do. I could lie. So could I. <laughs> So could I. So could I. Yo también podría. Oye, yo también podría. So could I. Uh, hmm? Okay. Very good. Can I? Oh, really? I don't mind. Oh, really? <laughs> mm. Really? I don't mind. No, you cannot say that. You cannot. Siempre escucha el auxiliar que se está it's ocupando. I know, I know. I could eat a horse. Sería como, so could I. Yo también podría, yo también podría, ok. Um, ok. Diferente si yo solo te digo, I'm starving. So, uh, so, do I. so, so am I. So am I. So am I. Am. So am I. Ok, se murió mi gato. I'm sad. Uh, oh, I am. oh, I am. No. El auxiliar va primero y lo acaban de ocupar. Am I? So am I. Am I. Okay. Am I? Somebody's praying. Alguien está rezando por ahí. Oh, okay, it's gone. <laughs> okay. No, no. okay, esto es de practicarlo, eh? So am I, so do I. Oh, um, I can't hear any noise. Neither I can I. Cannot hear any noise. Neither can I. So can't. So can't I. Yo tampoco. Oye, so can't I. Yo tampoco puedo. Neither do I. Mm -mm. No, ahí no aplica el neither do I. Porque estás hablando de la capacidad de poder. Acuérdate de eso. I can't hear any noise. No puedo escuchar ningún sonido. I can't hear any noise. So neither can I. I. It's wrong too. Neither Pero can en español, I. En español eso, suena bien. Eso sería. Neither can I. 
Neither can mm -hmm. I. Yo, yo tampoco puedo. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Neither can I. Or mm -hmm. so can I. So can I. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y si fuese positivo. <coughs> I can't hear any noise. ¿Tú vas a afirmar que sí podés? Really, I can. Really, Neither I can. Do I? No, si quieres decir que sí puedes, Erika, sería Really, I can oh. I can Simple, ok So let's practice that part, ok Keep an eye on that Ok, okay. Choose, oh come on, selecting Multiple selections Fiona carefully plans her day so She's never late for appointments She likes to be, ya hicimos esto, verdad Yeah Yeah Bad tempered. Esto es igual yes. que el anterior. Ok. That's so weird. Qué raro está eso. Eh, ¿A dónde estaba? Uh, Uy, era otro ejercicio ser anterior, part, ¿verdad? Ser part, ser ser part, part. Se repite. Se yeah, they're repeated. Ok. okay. So, matching. Like matching. I like I... to work as an English teacher. Es lo que acabamos de ver. This is just what we just saw today. I like to work as an English teacher because I'm too because disorganized. I'm because patient. I'm very passionate and enjoy, enjoy helping, helping people, people learn. learn. Yeah, very good. Mm, mm -hmm. Excellent. I wouldn't want to be a flight attendant. Because, it, because because I don't I like to like travel to or work with people. people or work with people. <sighs> Qué mentira eso. Okay. Yeah. Eso, yeah. eso es alguien que fue al examen de Bianca y no pasó el primer filtro. ¿Saben cuál es el primer <laughs> filtro de, de, de para ser aeromoso o aerohermosa? <laughs> sobre sobrecargo, sobrecargo. Ajá. Nadie sabe es cuál. Es? No, no. No, es, no, es, no, es, no es, la prueba de nado. Richard, es cuando ya estás en el entrenamiento. A la mitad del entrenamiento te tiran en mitad del, del agua de los pango con ropa. Pero no, el primer filtro de la entrevista, ¿alguien sabe cuál es? No. ¿No? no. Ok. Vas al edificio. Bueno, hay varios, ¿eh? pero el primero es subir un montón de gradas allá en Santa Elena. Y arriba te están esperando y te están observando y están con una lista. ¿Se cansó? ¿No se cansó? Uy, no, este gordito ya no. Segundo filtro, el más yo que ya se quería hablarles. Para las chicas es como lo más denigrante, digamos, porque llegas, estás en un cuarto donde solo hay niñas y hay otro donde solo hay niños. Sí, entonces te van llamando, ¿no? Chicos, acá, ok. Quítate los zapatos, te paras y hay tirros en la pared. <risa> Tenés que llegar a esa estatura, si no, sorry. Igual con las chicas, quítate los taconotes que traes, te quedas así calcetines, ¿no? Igual, 1.70, 1.74, creo que todavía es el estándar, 1.70. Ok, y el tercer filtro, ya estás en el salón. Uh -huh. And then the, the instructor starts. Ok, very good, everybody. Whoever doesn't understand me, please step out of the room. If you are, if you are understanding what I'm saying, please stand up. If you're understanding what I'm saying, please stand up really fast. Oh. Tenés que reaccionar así, ¿entendiste? Yeah. ¿Eh? Yeah. Si entendés lo que estoy yeah. diciendo, parate. Bueno, y, y los que no entendieron es porque no tienen el nivel de inglés requerido. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's crazy because it's very expensive. The training is really expensive. Ok, sorry. Me emocioné. Por, por eso quebró entonces. ¿Por eso? Quebró. ¿Really? Yes. No creo yo. Yeah. Puede no. ser. no, pero hay muchos estándares que cumplir en aviación y ese otro rollo. Me encanta ese tema. Ok, ¿alguien tenía una pregunta por ahí? Yo, Ticho, uh -huh. eh, eh, he escuchado que a veces, no sé si quizá ya hablando rápido, es que el because no es tan marcado, sino que, por ejemplo, I will make a waiter because I don't like Cause. to travel. Because <laughs> I don't like to travel. Ok, that's slang. Uh -huh. Eso es that's slang. Ah... Ahorita, you heard o lo leíste así. O, uh -huh. o, así. right? Oh, you could have read it like. No, 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 pero. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't e. like that. Podría ser cost. así o simplemente cause. 
um, ok, todo esto chicos lo van a ver en um, letras de canciones. Ok. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Lyrics. Lyrics. Y eso que es una tarea, letras de canciones. No, no, no. Bueno, yo se los recomiendo definitivamente. Escuchen, uh -huh. vean videos, vean a Peter uh -huh. Serra, Peter Serra en um, Chicago. No, no, pues If me... you're living now. No. I can remember right now. Okay. Um... No, I can't remember. Bueno, eh, hay varios videos de Chicago, pero a él le enfocaban mucho la boca y poder ver la pronunciación, ir pausando. Hay videos en los que está, está traducido en, uh, uh, con subtítulos en inglés, which is very good. Ok. Sí. That's the best way. Peter Serra. That's a, the, the vocalist, the singer. The vocalist of the singer. Oh, of Chicago or Air Supply. Oh, Chicago, yeah, uh, Chicago. Yeah. Chicago. Mm -hmm. Chicago. Yeah. Okay. Um, and my gift to you for Christmas. Gift. Christmas is coming. Yeah, that's my gift. Little training that, uh, from. That's my gift to you. Ese es mi regalo de Navidad para ustedes. Vayan a esa página en la computadora o descarguen la app en su teléfono eso, cuidado, eso es adictivo si les, si les gusta la música esa cosa es adictiva tiene tres niveles el nivel básico donde prácticamente vas a ir introduciendo preposiciones y verbos bien básicos nivel intermedio donde ya introducís preposiciones, verbos artículos y vas armando la lírica de la canción si te equivocas, la canción se detiene. Es súper es interactivo, por eso es súper adictivo. Y el nivel avanzado, que ya es toda la letra de la canción la que tenés que ir escribiendo, ¿ok? En base al oído. Míralo, es, es otra onda. Ok, let's finish with, like the, with the test. Ok, and was this the last part? No. Yeah, this is the last part, right? what we saw today. Do you have any questions regarding this part? No. no. How would you use what we are talking about? Let me make a question. What will you do to learn English faster? Or practice. Why? Because I don't practice. I, it's very difficult. Wait, to wait, no, no, no. Why, uh, what I'm trying to say is, what can you do to learn English faster? N I, it's logical, practice, but w how? Maybe the question is how? Uh, mm -hmm. Learning vocabulary. Why? Because... Mm -hmm. There are always some words that you didn't know. Mm -hmm. Writing. Writing. And okay. hearing. Writing. Why? Why writing? No. Mm. We're practicing the because no. thing. My opinion is uh, listening, listening, and listening. I guess. Why? Wait, why? Uh huh. Somebody said writing because? Because I memorize the letter in the word. I wasn't sharing my screen. <laughs> okay. Okay. Writing because I memorize. Memorize the letter, the word. <gasps> yes, letters. Wait, but letters, you already know the letters. The words. Mm. Mm -hmm, the the words. words. A miracle happens when you're right. In case you didn't know, a miracle happens when you're right. There are multiple actions happen. You feel, you feel with your hand and that sends a message to your brain 
you imagine what you are writing. Yes or no? Yes, you imagine yes. what you're writing. Okay, uh, you can feel, see, you can I imagine, you can see, you can see what you're writing and memorize the words. Man, mm -hmm. four things, all of those things at once. Listening, why listening English is a good exercise? Thanks. Because Thanks. I speak it better. Because I can improve. Mm -hmm. My pronunciation. speaking, yeah, my pronunciation, very good, my pronunciation, because I can improve my speaking. Okay, what kind of listening? Is it music? music. What? Okay. Watch hmm? Robocop. <laughs> it was Robocop. Okay. Uh huh. Why? Uh huh. Mm -mm. Giovanni, the, Richard. Oh, and, oh well. Uh, the kind of listening, maybe dialogues, songs. Um, say, Why dialogues? Why dialogues? Because, because uh, you you because you can uh, listen. A song, phonetics, mm. um, phonetics, uh, uh, phonetics of, of words, and the pronunciation. Okay, let me give you a key. Eso es el ejemplo que les acabo de dar, y es por eso es importante usar el because. Um, cuando vas a una entrevista de trabajo, como reclutador y entrevistador, te lo digo, es bien tedioso tener a alguien y lo bateas rápido, si entienden el término de batear a alguien cuando esté en una entrevista, ¿verdad? Eh, debido a este problema, nosotros no estamos acostumbrados a dar explicación del porqué de las cosas. O sea, acostumbrate a dar siempre el porqué de las cosas. ¿Ok? Extendete hablando lo más que puedas sin detenerte. Esto lo vas a lograr a través de una técnica, creo que ya se la he dado, la jam, ¿verdad? ¿Quién sí conoce la jam technique? Just a minute. ¿No? No. no. ¿Juan? Sí, ¿verdad? No. ¿No? ¿Marlon? No. 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 Ok. Ya, no. You didn't know. Google it. Just go to um, YouTube and type just a minute technique, okay? Just a minute. Bien, hagamos un ejercicio súper rápido para que me entendas. Y esta es la manera en la que yo te lo recomiendo que lo hagas, okay? Uh, para que te regreses de una sola vez. Uh, Ricardo, ¿me podrías decir cualquier palabra? Un objeto, por favor, un objeto, cualquier objeto. Table. Okay. Uh, las mesas, ok. Uh, tres, dos, uno. Las mesas. Mesas pueden haber de todo tipo de mesas. De hierro, de uh, madera, de roca, plástico, de cemento, plástico. de plástico. Puede haber de muchos colores. Verdes, negras, rojas. Uh, me encantan las mesas redondas porque siento que hay más espacio en la mesa para poder sentar a más personas. Y cada te puedes ver con todos, en cambio con una mesa cuadrada no puedes ver a ciertas personas a menos de que gires tu cabeza los que tenés a los lados, ¿no? Ok, no llega el minuto, chivo. Puede ser. Now English. Ok, tables. Mm, tables are great. I mean, I love tables. They're square, there are rounded tables, there are red, green, many colors of tables, but they are made of different um, objects, you know, made of different um, things like wooden, iron, and I love rounding tables because you can actually see people's faces instead of uh, the rectangular tables where you cannot see who's next to you. Primer attempt, primer attempt, first attempt. Ya lo intentaste una vez por un minuto. Okay, te detenes 10 segundos. ¿Qué hice bien? ¿Qué hice mal? ¿Qué mencioné? No lo escribís. 
que hice bien, que hice mal, hablé de que eran de tal forma, ok. Volvés otro minuto, haces este ejercicio tres veces. Después de la segunda vez que lo intentás, te detenés y por diez segundos escribís las ideas principales en post-its, los pones, es importante que hagas esto en el espejo, por cierto, lo pones a la par del espejo, las ideas principales de lo que dijiste, un mapa conceptual, y empezás a hablar de eso y le das forma, ya la tercera vez te grabás, ¿ok? ¿Cómo sueno? ¿Ya? ¿En qué me trabé? ¿Cuánto tiempo hablé? Empezás a autocorregirte tú solo escuchándote. Mira ese video, just a minute. Lo que yo te he dicho es como una idea eh, general de, de la técnica, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Y este mismo ejemplo se aplica en entrevistas hoy en día aún. Atacar al... al um, atacar, perdón. Um, el entrevistador, pues, el reclutador te va a atacar con preguntas. Te va a decir de una sola vez, en los 30 segundos, te voy a dar una palabra que necesito que me hable de rocks. Talk to me about rocks. Ok, rocks. Rocks are... Beach, rounded, rock, yeah. beach rocks, river rocks, you know, rocks are used for... Y empezás, Dios mío. Ok. Es importante que tu vocabulario avance. ¿Cómo lo haces avanzar? Metele problemas. Cosas en las que nunca pensás. Y de ahí vas a sacar vocabulario. Mm -hmm. Ok. Good. También es, sería una entrevista para no conseguir trabajo. ¿o? Que Fíjate para conseguir que, trabajo. Es que son dos cosas. Uno, estar seguro de que tu vocabulario es avanzado. Y dos, eh, romper tu área de confort. Yo sí. puedo decirle a alguien acá, what do you do every day? You're going to start like, okay, I wake up at 6 a.m. Then I take a shower and I go to work. Then I start working at 8 And then I finish at about 12 noon. Y en medio de esa rutina, el entrevistador, yo lo que suelo hacer es eso, ¿no? How do you prepare scrambled eggs? Que usted está acostumbrado a batear gente, teacher. No, eh, es, oí, oí, es tu, tu zona de confort. No, en realidad esto es así, esto es así. Tu zona de confort, es decir, tu rutina diaria. Mi tarea sería romperte esa zona de confort y preguntarte hey, ¿cómo vas y regresas a la, ¿cómo vas y regresas de la luna en 20 segundos? ok y me tenés que dar una respuesta bateado por completo no, creatividad entonces, ves, eh, hasta eso ¿no? hacete ese tipo de preguntas be creative make up answers inventate las respuestas ¿sí? inventar escenarios, salir de tu zona de confort si intentas hablar okay. inglés con lo que haces todos los días mm -hmm. aburrido, mm -hmm. ¿sí o no? ok, sí. okay. Yes. Yes. okay. Good. y el último okay. recurso que le voy a dar pónganle post-its mm -hmm. a todo en la casa, hasta su esposa y... el niño, <risa> kid <Okay>. remember me <risa> <risa> ok chicos, bien eh, si aún les okay. falta algo en la plataforma, porfa, termínenlo solo se tiene hasta ahora, a la medianoche porque ya mañana se envían los reportes para Insaforp y para poder inscribirlos en el siguiente módulo, ok, ha sido un okay. verdadero placer, eh, muchas gracias por su tiempo y por su paciencia conmigo a veces, yo sé que a veces hostigo o no los presioné mucho, yo sé pero debía haberlo hecho quizá ese pudo haber sido un área de oportunidad mía, nos eh, hubiera bateado <risa> No. O sea, toda la área de confort. Sí, en cierto aspecto traté de hacerlo, ¿eh? eh cuando los ponía ahí a que se atacaran entre ustedes con sí. preguntas y hey, dale, dale. Y el reloj para atrás, ok. Ok. Bueno, feliz Navidad, señores. Feliz próspero año teacher. nuevo. Okay, teacher. I wish you have a Merry Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad para todos. We wish Everyone. you a Merry Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, guys. Si nos permite, sure. nos vemos el otro año. Adiós. 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 Good night. Bye. Bye.